Hey there, I am Subha Ramnani, the guy who's mad about medicine, just like you. And I'm also an Anki head. So from time to time, I keep on creating these flashcards and tagging these cards is really important in my workflow. It helps me to find these cards again and unlock them or unsuspend them or do whatever with this, uh, create a filtered deck, cram these cards. The list is endless. So basically tagging is really important and today I'll be showing you how you can tag your own cards too in Anki and avail all these benefits. Well, let's get straight to it. First I'll be covering how you can tag your own cards and then I will be discussing why you need to tag your cards and also clear some questions you have. I know you'll have these questions, so let's get straight to it. So here I am on my trial Anki home screen so I can show you how to tag. So from here I click on the browse option and it opens the window where we can see our all cards. So here is where we can see our whole collection of cards and also we can see the symbol of tags. So these cards are tagged, marked, suspended, leech, today and this is the custom tag I have created which has all my cards penetrating trauma MAM. So to view the tags like this, all you need is a hierarchical tag add-on and I link it in the description box below and so you can add it in your Anki and you know how to do it. Just go to your home screen, go to the tools section, go to the add-on section and then you can just get add-on and type the code of the add-on and just give the add-on. So here I am back in the browse window and you can see my tag penetrating trauma MAM and then it has sub tags and sub tags and what all. So how to do this? So for that let me show you an example. Let's go to the add window and just create a card. Such a lame card okay. So here you can see there is the tag window. So let's say you want to put this tag under YouTube. So you type YouTube and then under YouTube you want to put it in mad about medicine. So all you have to do to create a sub tag is to have two colons one two after these two colons write mad about medicine. That's what is happening to my spellings. So mad about medicine under that let's say you want to further subcategorize it so let's say you want to type anki playlist so you can do double colon and anki playlist that's it so you have these tags all you have to do is click add now and as we go back to our browse window you will see we have a new tag which says youtube so and you can further click it and see oh YouTube mad about medicine and you can further click it and you can see YouTube mad about medicine and the tag is and this card is in Anki playlist. So let's say you also want this card to be in another tag. So this card will have more than one tag and you want it in this penetrating trauma MAM tag. So all you have to do this uh, go to this tags window press space bar and type penetrate and as you see as soon as I start typing it comes uh, it has a dialogue window and you can select let's say penetrating trauma NAM and injuries to the heart so now it is tagged like this all I do is press enter and if you see I go to my penetrating trauma MAM and injuries to heart and here it is it is tagged in this as well so you can have multiple tags as well and also you can remove it. So either you can remove going by in the tag section and just highlighting and deleting or the second option will be right click here, go to remove tags and just search the tag you want to remove. So you want to remove penetrating PE. So here this, you want to remove this tag, just click here and click OK and it will be removed from this tag and once I refresh it see it's gone now this has just one tag so tagging is pretty much this and uh, nothing more to explain yeah that's all so let me tell you an advanced tip if you need this so let me just create one more tag here 
for example penetrative trauma injuries to heart so for example i want to know how many cards does this tag tag have so if i click this you can see it is written one card one selected and if i go to injuries to heart it says 13 cards shown one selected so there are total 13 cards in this and uh, one card in this so for example i want to know how many total cards are there which has either this tag of injuries to heart or this tag of anki playlist so if i just calculate like this i will see okay uh, injuries to heart has 13 cards and anki playlist had one card so there are total 14 cards but no that is wrong because there is one card which is common in these both tags i hope you are on the same page as i am so what i do is i click on this injuries to heart press shift and again click on this anki playlist so now it is showing me the number of cards which either has this tag or this tag so if there are any cards which have both the tags they are not counted twice in this so this is a neat way if you want to find how many cards are in these two tags uh, together so this is just an advanced tip which you can use and especially useful if you are using big pre-made decks like the Anking deck or something like that and it will come in really handy well now let me come to the second part of the video and answer the question which you must be wondering why is tagging necessary I can just create a separate deck of my cards and keep on doing that and it is way easier well let me tell you why is it necessary and for that we'll jump back into our screen so I'm on my home screen and let's say you did a question bank of cardiac pathology and you got a question correct and you made another card an Anki card for it so now I'm going to my browse section I've already made a card QBank incorrect and this is my card blunt trauma to the chest can result in cardiac tamponade okay so if I preview it this will be the card and now you can say why not create a new deck of QBank incorrects well you can do so but the better way would be this because now you have the tag QBank incorrect but this also belongs to another tag let's say injuries to the heart so if you're doing injuries to the heart it will also come up here and you can revise it and if you're doing QBank incorrects it will also come up here and you can revise it you can unlock and unsuspend this here and as well as from here so that's why one card can have multiple tags but one card cannot belong to multiple decks this is why tagging is needed and always the system of text and subtext doesn't work out well this is one use scenario there can be multiple use scenarios just like this for example you want to send all these cards to your friend so it is easier to find all these cards under one tag and just send all these cards over rather than you know finding uh, your q bank incorrects and injuries to the heart and etc and etc well this is just one reason of why tagging is necessary in your anki workflow so go ahead create your cards and don't forget to tag them and also don't forget to click thumbs up on this video if it helped you and for more anki content like this click on the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one and until then stay safe stay happy what was it yeah stay safe stay happy and stay mad but just about medicine